welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jess and I would love for you to hit that subscribe button for all my new videos coming out every week or so. Um, don't forget to hit that notifications bell and give the video a big thumbs up because I would really appreciate it if you like the idea and you like the content. Um, today I'm going to be doing a look that is inspired by supermodel makeup. Um, so this is the look that I have achieved today. I really, really like how it turned out. Um, I think it's just super natural, beautiful, and kind of just makes your inner beauty shine through like a glow from within. I was super inspired by Candace Swanepoel um, because I really, really loved her growing up. I was obsessed with her. She's a Victoria's Secret model, if you don't know. Um, but she always does these beautiful, natural, glowy skin kind of looks with a bit of drama. So that's kind of what I wanted to achieve. If you want to see how this look was created, then just keep on watching, and I really hope you enjoy it. All right, let's get into it. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a supermodel makeup look. Um, so we're just going to be doing like super natural skin, natural makeup, just basically a soft glam look. And it's really good for every day. Um, it's also super easy to achieve. So first off, I'm going to start off with my um, Essence Prime Studio HD Hydro Primer Spray. Um, and a lot of the products that I'm going to be using today are products that I've been super loving lately and that I would recommend getting for sure, especially for summer, just because they're so lightweight. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna spray this over the face to kind of prime the face and um, get it really moisturized. And it gives you like a super nice glow. And I'm just kind of gonna push that into the skin with a beauty blending sponge. Now, I really want this glowy skin, so I think I'm actually gonna go in with my MAC Strobe Cream. And I'm almost out of this one, so I think I'm gonna have to get another one, but it's just really good for giving you that gorgeous glow. And I just apply it right to the high points of my cheeks and anywhere that I want to be more shiny, more dewy. And I even like to apply it just right here on the collarbone. And it just gives a really nice sheen to your skin. So next we're going to be going in with a tinted moisturizer um, because you want your natural skin to come through. Like you don't want it to look too cakey or too coverage, too full coverage. <laughs> um, so this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Um, it has SPF 30 in it and it's in the shade Buttercream 03. And this is actually really good um, because it has a lot of skincare benefits in it. So it really just moisturizes. And what I do is I kind of just go like that on my skin, just get it all on. And I like to use a beauty blender to apply this. So once that's all blended in, you can see it just looks very natural. This gives a super nice glow to the skin, and that is the key to supermodel makeup. All right, so my phone actually cut out um, when I was doing my concealer, but I have done my concealer. Um, I've used the Cover Fix um, Power Play Concealer, and what I was saying was I was not a huge fan of this concealer um, for the longest time because it just seemed really greasy on my skin, but I decided to apply the concealer with my fingers, and I just used the tiniest, tiniest amount, um, just like a couple dots under the eyes, and just blended it with my finger, and it actually looks really, really nice. So that is what I did for this. Sorry, it cut out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just going to brush my eyebrows up and kind of add some color to them. So this is my NYX Clear Brow Gel, which I really like. It's literally almost out. That's how much I use it. I just feel like it is nice because it really holds the brows in place and just makes them super fluffy, which is what you want, especially for a supermodel look. Fluffy brows are in right now and they have been in for supermodels. 
for a long time. And this is my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Gel in the shade Baby Brown. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing and just kind of brush it through to add some color. And when I was modeling, um, I plucked my brows before a casting call and I got in so much effing trouble. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that? I don't know. Sorry, my ponytail is like messed up right now. Hopefully it's straight for you because I know in the first shot it was a little crooked. So I tried to like move it to the side, but I don't know if I got it right. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna let those brows dry. I'm still gonna do one more step to them. But in the meantime, let's work on the eyes. I think I'm gonna use the Sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used this palette in a while in a video. Um, so I think I'm gonna go for it. So basically my first shade that I wanna use is Fresh. And I'm just gonna go all over the eyelid with Fresh with this kind of fluffy blending brush. And the shade's really nice. And it's just gonna set that concealer on the eye. Okay. All right, so now that that color is down, I'm just gonna go in with, I think I want something a little bit natural. So I'm gonna go with Birch, which is kind of like just this color. It's like a tan, very natural transition shade. And I'm just going in with the same brush and I'm just gonna focus this more into the crease. And then kind of bring it forward. This really doesn't have to be perfect. It's just gonna add some depth to the eye. And then I'm gonna go in with Twig, which is just this color right here. And I'm just gonna use this smaller blending brush. I guess you call it like a shading brush or something. Um, but yeah, just going with Twig. And I'm just going to focus that more into the crease. Really focus it. And that's just going to add even more depth. Almost like an eye contour. I really like this shade. The shade for me is very unique. I don't really see many shades it, like this color, so I really like it. And yeah, we're just going in with the depth. We're gonna go back in with the birch color and just kind of blend all that out and just make it look really nice. And effortless. And then I'm also just gonna blend like the um, the lid. Basically, I think I'm gonna go in with um, a mix of like cinder and teak. And these are both just really pretty bronzy shades. So I'm going in with teak first. And I'm just gonna use my finger. And I'm just focusing that into like the middle kind of area. It's really pretty. And just right here. Yeah, and I'm gonna go in with Cinder. And I'm just gonna bring that more into the inner corner. But also kind of taking it Just swiping it and then patting it through. I'm actually just gonna use my Sephora um, brown coal liner and this is yeah this is the deep brown it's really quite nice um, I'm just gonna use this to create a natural winged out liner um, nothing too crazy just very natural and effortless so I'm kind of just going to, it doesn't have to be perfect, and just starting to wing this out. Just apply the color. I 
And you want your pencil to be super sharp for this. I'm just getting it really close. And then basically I'm going to be taking a smudge brush just like this. And I'm going to go in with my dystopian shade in the salty palette. Just a tiny bit of it. I'm dabbing that off. Just smudging that out. You can also use your finger to kind of just blend. Blend it. Because you don't want it to look too winged out. Just a little bit is good. But it's a really good way to just achieve a natural, a natural look. Yeah, I like that. So I'm just gonna do the other eye really quick. So now that that is done, I'm going to start working on the face again um, because my concealer just needs to be set and all that. For my concealer, I'm just going to use a little bit of setting powder. So I'm just using a brush like this and I'm going to go with my Kat Von D Lock It setting powder. I really want to try the Laura Mercier one, so that'll be my next buy. And I'm kind of just going to take a little bit on the brush and I'm just going right under the eye just a little bit under there. You really just want not too much of it. Um, we're just gonna set and don't bring it down too far. There we go. And we're just setting like the other areas that we did with the concern. Like our smile lines. All that. I'm trying out the Huda Beauty Cream Contour and I like it so far so I might go and buy it but this is just a tester so I'm not going to show it to you. So yeah I'm just going to kind of bring that with my finger just to the places that I need it. Anywhere that you want to kind of bring a shadow or define. And yeah this is literally almost done. But at Sephora, it's really good because you can get testers of things and actually use them and see if you like them. And then go buy them if you want. And I'm just going to define that jawline with the contour, cream contour. And then last but not least, just a little bit on the nose to define it. I'm going to use this flat tip brush by ColourPop. It is the F4. And I'm just going to start blending that in circular motions um, and blending up. done I'm just gonna use my concealer sponge to kind of define certain areas and blend 
Um, but yeah, I like how that looks. I'm just gonna blend the nose out a little bit more to make it look more natural. And then I'm blending the forehead a little bit. And just kind of bringing it down here. And then I'm gonna go in with a cream blush and this is just kind of my natural like flesh shade. And I'm actually just gonna bring a little bit on the tops of the cheeks. And I'm gonna use my finger to blend it. And I'm just dabbing and kind of moving that product around as much as I can. And yeah, you don't want like too much of a flush. You just want it to look super natural. But I really like these ColourPop blush sticks. Oh, sorry, I probably didn't even say what it was. Yeah, it's the ColourPop blush sticks in the shade 25 out of 8. And then I'm just going to add a little bit on the bottom of the nose. And then now I'm just gonna use a bit of my banana powder by Essence to kind of just set everything and make the skin look really, really nice and finished. So I'm just going over pretty much all my skin with this. And it just takes away that greasy look. Kind of just makes everything come together. And I'm bringing it onto the forehead, just kind of patting and then swiping as well. And I'm gonna bring it under the eyes and kind of on the side of the nose because that's where I get greasy. I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer, my Wet n Wild um, Color Icon bronzer in the shade Sunset Strip Tees. I really like this one because it's quite cool, but it also is not um, too cool tone. It does bring like a nice bronze. I'm just using this big fluffy brush from Morphe. It's the M180. And I'm just kind of setting that um, cream contour into place with another bronzer, which is good to do. And make sure everything's lifted. And I'm just gonna squeeze the brush and just bring it along the sides of my nose. Perfect. All right, we are almost done this look. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is actually we're gonna start on the eyes one more time. So I'm gonna bring my, um, this is my brown liner. And I'm just gonna bring it into my waterline a little bit. And also just bringing it out on like the corners. So kind of like that. And then I'm gonna take my smudge brush it back into dystopian and just smudge that out and set it and then with this brush I'm kind of just going to blend everything love how there's a car horn going off in the background it's great and that just kind of adds that drama. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on the other eye. pretty I like this a lot um, I really like how dramatic it is and how it kind of just makes the eyes pop so now we're gonna move on to highlighter I'm gonna use a mix of my wet n wild crown of my canopy and my wet n wild golden flower crown 
I really love Wet n Wild highlighters, as you probably know if you watch my channel. It's pretty much all I use. Um, they're just, yeah, I don't know, they're just amazing. I really, I don't know what else to say. With shimmer, this is really nice actually. I don't even know if I need to use anything else. I might just use this. And yeah, we're just gonna do a tiny bit just to make it look super natural. And just focusing it on the high points of the cheekbones and then a little bit on the forehead. And I'm just gonna do a little bit on the nose, like the very tip kind of area. That kind of makes the nose just pop. And then keep its bow, just a little bit there. And chin, and then I like to do a little bit on the collarbones. And I feel like that's good. I don't think we need to add anything else. So I really like my Milk Kush Mascara and I use it all the time. This is like a holy grail for me. I just love it. Um, but I think today because we're doing a more natural supermodel look, today I'm gonna be using this brown mascara. Um, it's the NYX color mascara. So I'm gonna curl my lashes like usual. I think curling the lashes just makes such a difference, honestly. Yeah, and then we're going to use our brow mascara and just define those lashes a little bit. It kind of just melds in with the makeup and I just really feel like it makes a difference when you want more of a natural look. and a bit on the bottom lashes. Now, what I will say for this mascara is it is not smudge proof. It is not waterproof. Um, so just be aware of that when you're wearing it, especially on the bottom lashes. I feel like we'll be okay because I have like a really smudged out eye look, but if you just had something more simple, I feel like you'd want something that's more waterproof than this. This is almost the last step. We're getting to the end. We're getting to the end. Um, so I'm gonna be using my Lime Crime Bushy Brow Pen in the shade Brownie, just to define the hairs in the very front of my brows and make them more Brooke Shields-like. And yeah, I pretty much use this in every single video. Um, along with my other brow products, so definitely a must-have. All right, now for lips. I think I'm gonna go in with something more pinky just to add that color back in, and yeah. So I'm going in with my um, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Whips Caviar, and it's just a very pretty, kind of like mauve pink. And I'm just going to line the lips. I'm not going to overdraw too, too much. gonna use my finger to kind of buff it out I'm gonna use this ColourPop lip tint um, it is in the shade cutie fruity and I just bought it it smells like apricot it's absolutely amazing for summer especially this is like all I want to wear on my lips um, it's really moisturizing as well you just want to add a little bit of color into your lips so I'm just gonna kind of apply this right in the middle and you can see how like dewy it is. I just really like this. And I'm applying this in the middle. And then I'm gonna take my finger and just kind of buff it out. Yeah. 
cut it or no no if you want uh it's really easy and it just looks super natural now I'm just gonna do some setting spray which is my morphe continuous setting mist I love this stuff um it is so so good keeps the makeup in place it has a great scent and the mist is very fine so you're not getting like hit in the face with anything so yeah this is definitely a product that I have been loving lately along with the blush sticks I forgot to say I really really like these all right so that basically completes the look yeah I think this is really nice what I would do is I would just spray this um, Neutrogena Ultra, Ultra Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen on my collarbones um, to kind of just give it that dewy sheen um, because supermodels, you know, they have that dewy skin that's always perfect. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you like how this look turned out. I think it turned out really, really nice. Um, it reminds me of something that Candace Swanepoel or like other models would wear um, on the catwalk or like a night out. And it just makes the skin look super dewy and glowy and healthy. And it's actually quite an easy look to achieve. It just kind of brings out your natural beauty too, which I like. It's not covering anything up. It's just letting everything shine through. If you liked the video and you like how this look turned out, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I would love to have you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for all my new videos coming out every week or so. All right, well, we will see you in the next video. And yeah, thanks a lot. Bye.